the Adam Math class. Today, we shall be working on episode 7 of our Statistics for Beginners. So today, we are asked to calculate the mean deviance and the standard deviation for the grouped data. So the first thing we need to do is to get the middle value. And for us to get the middle value, since our class interval is 50 to 59, then we can say that our mid value will be equals to the average of the two. That is, we are, we are going to say we are 50 plus 59 over 2. And 50 plus 59 is going to give us 109 over 2, which is the same thing as saying 54.5. So our mid value here is going to be 54.5. If the same thing is done to 60 to 69, so here we are going to have um, 64.5. And here we are going to have 74.5. Here the middle value is going to be 84.5. And lastly, don't forget here the interval is from 90 to 100. So our mid value is not going to be 94.5, but instead the average is going to be 95. So that is our mid value. Okay. And um, looking at our frequency, don't forget that for us to calculate the mean for the group data, we have that our formula for calculating the mean is summation f x over summation f so we need to know the summation of our frequency that is 3 plus 5 plus 9 plus 12 plus 8 and that is going to give us 37 okay so now we need our f x that means frequency multiplied by x so using your calculator 3 times 54.5 is going to give us 163.5 and um, 5 multiplied by 64.5 here, we're going to have 322.5 here. I'm going to have 670.5 here. I'm going to have 1014. And here, lastly, I'm going to have 760. So calculating the sum of everything, that is adding everything together, the sum is going to be 2930.5 so with this my mean is going to be 2930 which is the summation of fx over summation f which is 37 and from this my mean is going to be 79.2 so looking at my formula here there's a need for me to put s bar S bar. So don't forget that the mean is the same thing as saying X bar. That is from our previous video. I've um, explained the notation used for mean so we can use S bar. So what we just need to do here is to get X minus X bar and square it. What do I mean in getting this? For the first value, it means X. My X is 54.5. That is, I have 54.5 minus x bar which is 79.2 so i'm going to subtract this and square you understand so the same thing will be done for the second one that is 64.5 minus 79.2 then squared it so using your calculator 54.5 minus 79.5 squared is going to give me 610.09 and for the second one, I'm going to have 216.09. I'm going to have 22.09. Yeah, I'm going to have 28.09. Yeah, I'm going to have 249.64. Okay, so lastly, we are going to do F. And then the reason why I'm doing this from the formula of calculating my variance from our previous video I gave you the formula for variance which is summation f into bracket x minus s bar all squared over n minus 1 or you can say summation f minus 1 either way or you can use n minus 1 so here there's a need for me to get f multiplied by x minus s bar all squared so here the first value here using now my frequency my frequency multiplying it with this so I'm going to have um, 1830.27 1, here I'm going to have 
1080.45 I'm going to have 198.81 here yeah, 337.08 1,000, 1,997.12 uh, and the summation of everything is going to give me 5,443.73 you can use your calculator for that so calculating my variance in this sense it shows that the summation of f into bracket x minus s bar all square gives me 5,443.73 all over summation f which is the same thing as 37 minus 1 okay and with this this shows I'm going to have over 36 right so dividing this gives me 151.2 and lastly we are to get variance and the standard deviation so our standard deviation um, from the last video we know that our standard deviation SD is the same thing as square root of our variance which is the same thing as square root of 151.2 and my standard deviation is going to be 12.3 so that is it for the grouped data. So kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. In our next video, we are moving to more um, important topic in statistics. Until then.